Welcome back to more Mountain Blade Bannerlord uh, White Lion of the North campaign. Today, before we dive into the action, got a, a little bit of, got an announcement, a little bit of housekeeping for those watching this on YouTube. Uh, and that is that today's stream and recording of Bannerlord, uh, we've got a special uh, Lenovo Legion forfeit challenge. So those don't know, Lenovo Legion are my sponsor on my Twitch channel. They provide me with an awesome uh, streaming PC setup and keyboard, mouse, monitors, all the gadgets and gizmos. Uh, and they regularly like set me challenges. Today, they've set me a forfeit challenge of having some incredibly spicy hot sauce. There's seven different ones increasing in, in spice and heat and Scovilles. I found this set on, on Amazon. It's called Crazy Bastard, which I feel is fairly apt for what we're attempting. Uh, we go from 3,000 Scovilles all the way up to 65,000 Scovilles. The lowest one being a Jalapeno, the highest being a uh, Carolina Reaper. So um, basically, I have to have some of that hot sauce on a chicken wing every time I either die, get captured, lose a tournament, or if I save scum. So probably if I end up losing a battle and I don't want to have to regain all my troops, I'll just save scum to... You know before then but now that now comes with a penalty increasingly spicy penalties i love spice my body is terrible at taking it i've got some milk we've got ice cream in the freezer we've got water there is some bread about as well help and we're gonna kick things off we're gonna kick things off there's a tournament at um Sionon. you know what though i nearly did a massive mistake i've got 28 percent health i am going to wait here until i'm at full strength then I'm going to try that tournament. But also, I've just realized this is the worst possible tournament to start with because it's a Britannian tournament, which means it's going to be two-handed, which means I'm definitely losing this and I'm going to have to have my first bit of spicy hot sauce. Oh, good God, why? In terms of the game, though, we are at war with the Kuze. We're at peace with the Britannians. This is now my city, which is lovely. I'm nearly positive on earnings. I just need my cities to recover. We also need to go get a hero, a battalion hero for my brother so that she can then manage Sionon. Yeah, actually, technically, that is, that is, your chat's just right as well. If I die or get captured in battle, if I then save scum, that's two spices, isn't it? Oh, good God. Oh, God. Yeah, so save scumming is really dangerous. Save scumming is really dangerous today. So I might actually have just to accept what happens. Especially as we go up the uh, up the, the spice scale. Right, we're 100%. Okay, here we go. First tournament. Don't go out first round, Lionheart. Do not go out first round. I'm just move this milk in case I get very animated and knock it over. I mean, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-milk. Actually, I said I wasn't gonna do that, did I? For the other ones, let's wash that down with water. Get rid of it. It's not allowed. Okay. Come on, Lionheart. Don't don't lose this. Oh good god, it's two-handed sword straight away. Oh good god. Tactics, 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 tactics. To be clear, if I get taken out in a tournament round, that doesn't count as a death. It's only if I lose the tournament. <laughs> oh. 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 I'll definitely pre-milk on the uh, on the spicier ones. I'm not too worried about the first two or three. It's after that that it gets really painful. Am I through to the, I'm through to the next round, no matter what. Doesn't matter if I if I get knocked out now. It's, I'm safe. I'm safe. I'm safe. Oh, it's my brother. Oh, blocked one. I'm blocking. Yes. <laughs> this is the most focused I've ever been for tournament fights in my life. Come on. Come on. Uh, I don't want to lose. Right, we're up against a battalion trained warrior. Oh, God. Oh, God. Here we go. Ah. 
No hot sauce. <sighs> Sorry if I'm a little bit more animated with this, but... Uh, 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 really, really don't want this. <sighs> right, I'm going to recruit those recruits because we, we need to... I think we need to um, go to the keep and manage the garrison a little bit. Hyper focus time. Yeah. Um, did we pick up any other? Oh, we some. These got some looters. Whack them in volunteers. Yeah. Put any battalions in here. Imperials. Um, we'll go recruit some more Sturkey recruits for us. We we'll probably need to go grab a load of battalion recruits and whack them in here because they they get veterancy, right? Don't they? Because that's not a huge gar Although we're not at war with Britannia, so we shouldn't need to worry a huge amount. Um, there's no one in here, is there? The Wanderer. The Sturgian culture. <gasps> oh, she's the one we were looking for. She's come to us. Hi. How do we get her to marry my... Can we get her to marry my brother? Well, it doesn't matter, does it? We've just got her to join the party. So we just we just whack her in the town now, don't we? Because she's at least Britannian culture. I don't care that she's not specced out as an engineer. This is fine. Owner culture, but she... Governor culture isn't different, so that's all good. We're on festival and games, increasing loyalty. So we could probably move away from that, but we'll keep loyalty going up. What are we working on right now? Marketplace. Yeah, we need to do some smelting. So let me put in 100k here to get this stuff going. Uh, enter the smithy. Uh, we've got loads of Pugos to smelt down. Let's get him to do smelting. And same for him. And me, smelt it all down so I've got all the stuff. Oh, I don't have all the required materials. Okay. Charcoal, 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 charcoal. Right. We'll wait again. I guess the fear of pain and death makes you better at games. out the middle uh, middle man and just rub the sauce directly on the poop shoot oh no 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 take more recruits just give them to the garrison um smithy back to you back to smelt down Pugos. boom not my avalanche axe thank you right go to everything that we've unlocked Let's go for the curved one. Long as possible. Go for that hilt. Long as possible. Go for that one. Long as possible. That one. Long as possible. It's everything as long as possible. It is. Right. Uh, switch back to me. And let's start forging. Right, now before we do any more, I just want to see how much that will trade for. Yeah, 10k. Beautiful. So let's uh, repeat that. Yeah, it's that one on everything. Noise. Forge. Forge me a sword. Worthy of Mordor. Two hand is selected. But we've got another thing now. Another guard. I don't believe selecting one hand or two handed it changes any different. It just literally shows you the different stats between using it because some of the the hilts let you use it as a bastard sword, as a one handed or two handed sword. So I don't think it actually matters which one you have selected. Um, it's literally just referring to the stats when it's being used or wielded one handed or two handed. <sighs> right. Uh, let's level you up.
This should this should trade night. We can't trade it all here. We'll have too too many. There's not enough gold here. Can do. Sell that one, sell that one. Oh, we've got our army still. Uh, we can let this army go, can't we? Yeah, disband the army right now. Because we're, we're at war with the, with the Kuzate. We're definitely going to get captured against the Kuzate. So we need everyone to recover and then go after them, I think. We're going to pop all of these into... All of these into the garrison of the city. You have to select whether to use your loo roll one handed or two. <laughs> but I assume it's gonna be Lionheart Smithing so he doesn't die. No, we will every time unless we're busy on something else, I feel like every time we see a tournament, we've got to go and try and do it. Plus, the thing is, I like doing tournaments because we've got that reward that gives us five influence every time we win one. So it's in my best interest to go and do one, to be fair. Um, security's going down. How can we increase security? Wasn't there something I saw that gives more security? I thought there was something for security. Why is it dropping? Because our prosperity is so high. Oh, looted villages. Once they recover, we should be fine then. Governor's helping a little bit. Security drift. It should work. Oh, garrison helps increase it as well. Should be okay then. It should work itself out. In a, I don't know how long it takes them to recover, but it should be, should be there soon. Whack all of them in there. Obviously, it's going to increase. Oh, wow. Look at our income now. Our wages. We can definitely chuck a load more troops in there. So I think I'll just keep going around my villages recruiting up for a little while to whack in there before we go over to the east. I mean, the Kuze are going to go after Urixgala Castle. Oh, that's what's being raided. And uh, Tile, that's where they're going to go first. Uh, we better run to Warhammer 3 with a 1650 and 8 gigs of RAM uh, ROG laptop. Uh, yeah, you should be able to with fun with that because that will run Warhammer 2. Basically, if you can run Warhammer 2, you will be able to run uh, Warhammer 3. Right now, performance is slightly less on Warhammer 3 compared to Warhammer 2 with similar settings. But I'm hoping that's because we need, you know, uh, drivers from NVIDIA and AMD respectively. And also, there's still further optimization to be done around the, uh, around the game before the final release as well. But yeah, like 99% of the time pretty much uh, a solid guarantee that if you can run Warhammer 2, you'll be able to run Warhammer 3 on pretty much the same settings. I hear there are bespoke multiplayer campaigns for Warhammer 3. Uh, I am think I think I can talk about them. Um, to be honest, I haven't played either one of them. I will be. Uh, I've got some multiplayer campaigns lined up for the next um, couple of weeks to check them out. So... Keep your eyes peeled on the stream schedule, basically. Oh, let's say, oh, there's a tournament over here. Oh, good God. Oh, no. The panic sets in again. All right, tournament. We're going to recruit units from here as well. Uh, I can sell some more of my swords here. Mm, that's all the money they've got there. Right. Uh, I don't know if we'll smith many more swords, because basically having 100k is perfectly fine for what we need right now. Mm. Here we go. Another horse. Is that what I won last? What did I win last tournament, actually? Was it a horse? Oh, it's 1v1v1. Okay, I've got, I've got to just not die first to survive this round. This is fine. This is fine. Well, not die first. We're not going to die first or second. Run away. Run away. Get them to fight each other. Brave, brave Sir Richard. He bravely ran away. 
Right, come on. Come on if you think you're hard enough. Yes! Thing is, the, the chicken wings are smelling really good right now. Oh, I've got a sword and shield. I'm safe. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm going to lose. My team sucks. Team let me down. Oh, God's sake. Here we go. How long was that? 16 minutes. There we go. Crazy bastard sauce, jalapeno, and date. So, give it a good old shake. Here we go. That was fine. <laughs> That one was fine. Like the tiniest bit of spice. There's a little bit of, there's quite a bit of heat now. That was actually really, the date makes it really, uh, really quite sweet. The heat is lingering. The heat is definitely lingering. Okay, we survived our first one. That was actually really pleasant. Jalapeno and date. Uh, Murnath, we've uh, apparently some, oh, oh yeah, it's him, isn't it? We don't want to go to him. We don't do the main story yet. Uh, we've traded. We didn't complete the tournament. What did I get from the last one though? Was it, was it a... A horse? I feel like it must have been a horse. You don't have anything special. It's got my arrows in there. Um. Oh, they've refreshed their money again. Thanks. Uh, back to the smith. Uh, we know we need to wait. Um, we were just recruiting Britannian troops, weren't we? Are we nearly full? Pretty much. Go down here. It was a tile horse. Oh, okay, thanks. I right, head back, drop all these recruits off in the city. Because they will... Uh, and look, I, I already called it, didn't I? Tile is under siege. We're going to lose that again. Thing is, I need to get over there to help out against the... Tuesday, otherwise they're going to... They're going to mess up without me. Go to the keep, manage garrison. I feel like I need to do, what do we reckon? Garrison, get up to like 150-ish and then leave it. They do slowly train them and upgrade them automatically. But I feel like we should leave them with a few more because otherwise that's not going to be that many to hold out. After seven, start mixing them one and two. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see. What? There's another tournament there already. Oh, for God's sake. Wait till daytime for the tournament. Okay. Okay. Confidence. Confidence, Lionheart. Confidence is key. Tanyan Thoroughbred. Lots of horses going on right now. It's 1v1v1. I'm getting through this first round, damn it. How much militia does the town have? That is a good point. Should check that out. That's it. Fight one another. Fight one another. Glory. Ah! It's fine. It's fine. I'm through to the next round. We won! Yeah, of course you did. It's fine. I'm through. All good. Oh, nice. Good lad. All right, we're through to the next round again. Ah, dang it. But it's fine. Still through to the next round. Axe time. Ah, 
Oh, God, I got one. I'm so bad at two-handed tournaments. I really need to get away from Batania. Uh, okay. Coming number two. We're on the Scotch Bonnet and Caribbean Spices. Okay, just going I'm just going straight in on it. There's a lot more heat to that. There's a lot more heat to that. Oh, my face feels warm. Still really nice though. Yeah, that was that was definitely hotter. Oh. My face has gone red. I can see it's gone redder, isn't it? Oh my days. <laughs> Second source down. Face feels a bit warm. Throat and mouth definitely feel warm, but actually still quite pleasant. Nice uh, Scotch bonnet with some Caribbean spices. Um, we are still recruiting troops, aren't we? We're going around just grabbing a load. Uh, let's let's go a little bit further field. Let's see if there's something over at uh, Dungallus. We need to head over towards Tile to help out against the Kuze. But we'll do any tournaments that we see along the way. We're just going to do one last run of doing Batanian recruits for uh, Sionon, our city that we've got. Yeah, that's it. Get some archers. That's what you want. There are some looters that we could be going after, but not going to just yet if line takes all seven like a chap he should drink a horn of beer i'm not sure beer would help me out though drink it down a horn of milk although actually you can have too much milk when when i was at university um i played on the hockey team um and the you had initiations uh when you joined the team basically and the, the like for whatever reason it was tradition that one of the hockey initiation kind of like tests or trials was to chug 4.4 4, 4 pints of milk um which i don't know anyone that can just chug four pints of milk and not throw up basically because it just hits your stomach and immediately fires back up um, so yeah, we were all there. We had like a bin bag over our head. Um, and so we could just throw up straight into the bin bag. But I think my, my drinking horn's about a pint and a half. So I'll be fine on that. Um, right. Keep managed garrison. I remember our hockey, my hockey initiation, we had a Pokemon theme. I, and they randomly assigned us a Pokemon we had to create a costume for. And we had to come up with a, a special attack move. And I got I got given uh, Pidgeotto. So I, I went down to a shop and asked if they had a load of spare cardboard. And I made myself a Pidgeotto costume. I cut out the wings and everything. Painted it all. Made myself a, a mask out of cardboard. Um, and then I bought some... I bought some... I think they were like... I think they were like cat toys. Like uh, balls with like um, bells in it. And I got like a load of them. And I did a... Uh, a, a spinning wind attack, I called it, where I threw up the balls, spanned my wing round that I could just like, kind of swing on around and then slapped it at my at my enemies. Good times. Good times. Right, anyway, Garrus, enough, enough story time with Lionheart. Um, what is the total militia? The militia is only 56. So, total defenders... If we take out my part, there's just under 300. Oh, and there's raiders in there. Oh, there's only there's only just over 200. Do we think that's enough to leave behind at Sionon? Or should we recruit some more? I mean, we might as well get these guys and whack them straight in. Let's do another round. One more round. One more round of recruiting. Are we still positive? No, only slightly negative, so that's not bad. Uh, so people ask you about hockey. Uh, field hockey I played. Never played ice hockey. I've seen ice hockey. I've seen a match of ice hockey. LA Kings. It's a great game. Um, but I've, I've never played it. Go to 300 troops in the garrison. Wing 3 coming up. <laughs> I don't want to. Obviously, this means I've got to be careful in battle. Because obviously, I can still win a battle. But if I get... If I get knocked out i'm t I, I said if i die but what i actually mean is if i get knocked out in battle basically if i get downed 
So I'm going to have to play really carefully today. Right, we've got enough for another full party. Whack it back. Ooh. My face feels very warm right now. Oh. You should go for 150, 200 and then get the militia trained up. Yeah. Well, let's just, let's just, I think this will be the last run I do right now. I bet it's going to be another bloody tournament over here again. Don't fart next to an open flame. Oh, of course, there's another tournament. Oh my, how many? They just keep farming these tournaments or something. We should stop coming back to this town. Oh, that's oh that full helm looks sick though. I want it. Okay, I want to win this not just because I don't want to do another chicken wing, but also because I want that helm. Gimme, 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 gimme. Oh, survived. Just need to take out the last blue one and we're through to the next round as a team. Yep. Oh, nice. Took him down with the jump. Okay, it's 1v1v1. I can I can get my way through this if I just run around until the other guys take each other out. Because I'm smart. Run away. Take each other out. Take each other out. Come on. Yes! Come on. Final round, final round, final round. I need to get over to the Kuzate lands. Ah! No, 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 no. This is the Chipotle and pineapple. Oh, it smells warm. Okay, here we go. Really sweet in the taste. If the heat's coming, it's delayed. You know, I don't want to jinx it in case it comes, it hits me like in a little bit. Because there's a bit of heat to it, but I mean, the heat is lingering in my in my mouth quite a bit. But that actually wasn't a hard, spicy hit. That was actually really nice. Mm. The next one is a jump from 10,000 to 25,000. That's when we're going to start having some pain. That's habanero next. Um, we've recruited up everyone. Let's go drop these in here and let's stop coming back to Moranath to do tournaments. Let's head over to, to the east, to the Kuzik lands. We bought, we bought fresh packs of toilet roll the other day, coincidentally. <laughs> so we're all good. We're all good on the toilet roll front. <laughs> uh, chuck all those uh, volunteers in there. There's 210 in there. I think that's fine. The, the militia is building up quite, quite rapidly. 
If you go back to manage town, construction security is now increasing. That's good. Everything's looking really positive there. We're getting good tax through. Working through that marketplace. I'm going to throw in some more money for the reserve here. In fact, I'm going to throw in that much to leave behind. And then we are going to leave. We're going to go back through some Sturgeon territory to recruit some Sturgeon recruits for my army because we're just pure Sturgeon right now. We will probably eventually go for a hybrid mix of Sturgeon and Battalion troops. We'll see. <gasps> We've got a baby! got a child. Calatid. Calatild. I believe that's a daughter. I think that's a, uh, a lassie's name. We should name her. We should name... What, what should we name her? Have to name her Tim. <laughs> Carolina. <laughs> let's call her... Let's call her Carolina. In the hope that we never meet her. <laughs> Carolina after the hot sauce the, the maximum one there we go we'll have a Tim if we can Carolina may you grow to be strong and wise wait no that's Crusader Kings 3 how was your day young Chipotle and pineapple uh, check the traits oh yeah uh, no, wait, wrong one. Generous, honest, daring, and merciful. Amazing. So, from what I understand, if we if we ended up dying somehow, we would continue playing as one of our kids, right? He hasn't come of age yet. Our sister has. She's 20. Where's the button to create a kingdom? Uh, go to clan. Uh, no, sorry. Go to kingdom. Um, it would be under the kingdom tab if I hit leave kingdom, I think. Or it would be, or is it, I think actually no, because you wouldn't get kingdom tab unless you had a kingdom. It's on your clan tab. I think it's here. In this section up here, if you aren't already part of the kingdom. But because I'm part of Sturgia, I don't get the option for it. That's it. Loads of recruits there. Oh, there's a tournament. I'm confident I can do. I can do Sturgeon tournaments. He says. Got a shield, so it should be doable. Come on, mate. There we go. Down we go. Final round. Oh, it's axe throwing. Sturgeon tournament's way easier. <laughs> Woo. Much, much easier. Go over to Omor. Actually, we'll see if we can get some recruits from here. Did they just lose tile? Yes, they did. Of course they did. Okay, let's head over to Spear. Are they just going to try and take it? How strong are those armies that are moving up there? Mm, okay. How do you do a shield bash? Yeah, press E while you're holding up your shield. Any news on when this is going to be out of early access? 
Uh, none that I'm aware of. I would, I would, wouldn't be surprised though if they're kind of aiming for a, like a 2.0 release because we're at 1.7 right now. Wouldn't be surprised if they kind of try to tie in, you know, full release or out of early access at 2.0. So probably at some point this year. That's Rangenvad's army down there. Let's head on over though, see what we can, if there's anything we can do to harass these guys. You need to reclaim Pile for sure. Our strength is actually stronger than theirs. We've captured a good few of them. Oh, have we still got the castle, actually? We do. We still have the castle. Steady gold changes to minus 500, which is pretty decent considering the number of, like, parties and stuff that we've got. We need some of these other armies to disband, though, because if I wanted to form my own army right now... I could bring an um, Aster's party. Actually, yeah, Vidal's party. Ooh, actually, there's some pretty big ones. Cost me a crazy amount either. You're free. You're expensive. Cost me 53. Yeah, let's let's summon that army to me. Some pressure on them. Oh, yeah, come down here. Battle to be had. They must have caught them, surely. I don't know, they were so close to them. Head back over here. We are actually gaining influence per day as well. How's our food? I didn't actually check our food. That caravan. Can we catch that caravan? No, Ooh, we might be able to lock it into the mountains. I don't know. Can they get out over here? We might be able to get it trapped. So they are sieging that castle. So we're going to need to go break that siege. I wonder if we can run these guys into the mountainside though. They can't escape. I think they can get back. They can get all the way around the back though, can't they? Well, they might get trapped. I don't know if they can get through those mountains there. We might have just trapped them in a corner here. Oh, come on. Seriously? They found the way out. Okay, we'll head, we'll head over here to break the siege. Got our army built up to like 400 nearly. Uh, Bidigum, thanks for subscribing with the tier one sub for 18 months. Thank you. Giving us time to assemble these forces. We've still got 105 coming in. 101 and 69. Oh yeah, they're right behind us. Are you going to wait for that to come on down? Yeah, I think they've driven them off. Castle is held. Oh, wow. They got a load of prisoners. Did we get a capture a load more of their lords? Yes. Oh, my God. The Kuzet are going to be absolutely shattered from this. We've got 13 of them all pretty much in that castle. Okay, we can go siege tile. There's no way they can mount a solid defense. Counts that. They've got 424 defenders in here. Uh, they've got two... Okay, let's leave. See if we can force those two armies to run away and come out of tile. Anyone else nearby that can join us? Four hours away. Yeah, he can come straight on in. Yeah, tile they've left. Good. In we go. 126 defenders. We've got this easily. 105. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh, I'm not going to worry about siege towers with only 100. Uh, siege towers. On, yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to worry about trebuchets. We're just going to go for a ram and a single tower. I just love this campaign that we're actually spanking the Kuze. Got 12 of their lords captured right now, which is going to really significantly shatter their ability to summon new armies. They will have 
a catapult there, but the numbers we've got. Right, lead the assault. I've got my yeah, sword and bow. Lead the assault in we go. Obviously, I've got to be careful not to die because otherwise that is a spicy hot wing. I'll get knocked out. Uh, also deploy. Yeah, go. To the walls. Oh, like you watch out for those onager hits because they will kill me instantly. Beast out already took a beating. Oh my days. Yeah, forward guys. Forward, forward, forward. To your positions. That onager needs taken out. Focusing on that tower, which at least is giving our ram time to advance. I'm just gonna go. I'm going forward with them. Oh! No, I'm not. We're not using any mods. Oh my days! Use the tower as a bit of cover, I think. Loads of arch stuff on the walls. I think we're going to go in with the ram, you know. Well, maybe that tower, maybe that tower actually. I'm going to stick with the tower. We're too close now, the Onigo can't hit us. We've lost 36 so far, dead. 32 wounded. Taking him out. They're mustering on the wall. Ready to take out the tower. Troops as they come out. Up you go, guys. Climb, 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 climb. Want to go firing spicy hot wings. Spicy hot wings of death. No! <gasps> Help! I'm nearly dead. Oh my days. Go on, help me out, mate. Help me out. Oh, so nearly dead. Does the threat of really spicy hot wings make you play better? So far, yes. Crap, oh crap, oh crap. No! Why didn't I take up my shield? Where were the rest of you bastards? Why aren't you all up there? Oh, so few of them left. Son of a beach. We won't need all the wings. <laughs> well, it's still a victory for us. It's still good. Should have taken the shield up. Shouldn't have risked it with an arrow shot to them. Twenty-two influence gain, eleven point seven renown, six point four morale, thirty-four percent of the loot. Beautiful. Uh, let's take all those troops in because then we can drop them into the um uh, 
Got more into the garrison. Lovely. Yeah, I know we're over our limit. Um, we don't really need money. I think I'm just going to give it as XP to my troops right now. So I'll take the horses, thanks. Yep, 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 yep. That's all good. Okay. This is Habanero and Tomatillo. In for a penny. <laughs> Okay, that's hot. That is very spicy. Uh oh, hiccups. That's never good when you get hiccups with hot, hot sauce. Uh oh. That's hot. <sighs> My mouth's quite warm right now. I'm trying to. A lot of saliva generation. <laughs> Just had hot sauce number four. The habanero. That one was quite painful. Well, not not painful. It was very hot. And it's very... um, My lips feel tingly. Uh, I've got a numb tongue. But we did manage to just take tile. So show some mercy. In we go. We will go straight to the keep. Donate troops to the garrison. Because we picked up a load of extra forces there. Let's keep going through. Sturgeon Warrior. Yep. Right. Who are we going to uh, pop in? The Looter, the Militia Archer, the Militia Spearman. Um, We will pop in. We'll keep the Vlandian Knights. We'll pop in the Line Breaker. Everyone else is all good. So what we'll do is we'll chuck in some recruits. So we get down to our limit of force uh, of 146. There we go. I'll gain 13 for donating those guys. Cool. And then let's go to the Tavern District. And we'll just ransom them all because we didn't actually capture a Lord. Just ransom them for cash. Uh, there's not a Tawny here, is there? New. Okay. Um, I'm going to wait here for some time briefly just to replenish. I'm going to buy some food as well while we're here. The sauce was tasty, actually. Yeah, like, so far, I've got to admit, these have all been really tasty sauces. Really, really tasty sauces. Oh, don't tell me this is... Oh, no. Vote for the new owner. Um, I've got 100 relation with him, 40 relation with him. I'm just going to abstain. Yeah, we're spanking them. We'll go after some of their... I think we'll go after the Dinar Castle if we can. Because then we can start pushing towards their cities. Uh, let's buy some stuff. Buy some stuff. Uh, and by stuff, I mean food. Olives, butter. I just want everything you've got, really. That'll do for 12 days. Wait a little bit longer. I think we'll wait until we're 80%. Then we'll go for that castle because we'll heal up as we march. Okay, off we go. Leave. How are we doing on our income? Only minus 61. Not bad at all. Right. Head on out. Can we pull anyone else in? To us. Only 22. Let's bring him right in there. And let's go after this castle if we can. Three hundred and eighty-seven defenders in there. Right, let's take it. Besiege the castle. I don't know if we've got time to go full trebs here. I think we might want to though. I am gonna drop in a save. Not specifically to save scum, but just to give us a point. Because we played for what an hour or so here and we haven't saved yet. We've just got the auto saves. I think I will attempt to go Trebs. Unless we see a large stack of them coming. In which case we'll need to try and get away. Odin's been moved away. Has sent them away. That's good. 
835. I don't think they can muster too many more because they've lost so many lords. We might just get away here with it. We're going to run low on cohesion soon though, so... How much are we losing? Okay, minus six. It's not too bad. Oh, they're coming in. Uh, we haven't got a seat. Uh, we haven't got a ram. We try and lead the assault with just the trebs and ladders at the walls. And then stay in there while they try and take it back. I'm not sure I want to face these guys in the field. How many troops do we against what they've got? It's mainly militia, isn't it? I think we maybe push in and try and take that castle before they all come in and get us. Charge on in for the hot sauce. Can't can't argue with that logic, really. Okay, lead the assault. In we go. If we put a treb, treb on each side. I am kind of tempted to actually put a treb rather than being uh, on the side. No, let's leave him on the sides. Let's leave him on the sides. Also deploy everyone else. Ready. I'll sit back and watch. I know they've got scorpions on the walls, but... We can bring down the walls during the battle. They're going up, men are going up the ladders. I think we'll just go up the ladders with them. The skirmishers are pushing up on the skirmish positions. The rest of them are all going up those ladder lines. It looks like they're making progress up along the walls, so let's just try and get up there and support them. I can't see any shots coming out from those scorpions, but maybe it's because we're not far enough up along yet. Let's ride on up here. And seems to be claiming some ground up the wall. Up we go. What we need to really do is secure the gates or something. Oh, okay. There's a lot of them up there. And I draw my bow out. I can. I can just shoot people. I'm going to shoot a load of them. Come on, mate. Jump off the ladder. You got stuck there. Come on. Take him down. If we can start getting a bit of a foothold up on the wall. I'm being pushed up by the guy behind me. Rut row. No, I don't want to. No! Oh, God, no. Oh, they made it up on the other ladders. Ah! <gasps> I'm alive! 
Legs of steel! Climb up this way. Seems safer. Oh. We've lost 118 dead, 92 wounded. It's a brutal one, this. We are making our way through their defenders a bit, though. I thought we've got this bit secured. Uh-oh. 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 No! The number of us that got around this side, though. That's the only side they've managed to get. I don't think my trebs have managed to open up any walls somewhere. Are oh, the gates over there? I wonder if they can even make their way through. Let's just fast forward it. How many are going to fall here? We are getting more up through the walls, but it's just so many going down. We are taking massive casualties here. We managed to shunt them off that part of the wall. Fighting them over this section now. Oh, 300 dead. 30 from our own party. We are whittling them down, though. They're down to their last 100. Huge casualties. I don't know if we'll be able to hold against the others. They fixed the ladder glitch in that you've got m your units will use multiple ladders now, which is good. Oh, we made it through. I mean, 262 wounded. But oh, yeah, yeah, it's only 229 fighting ready after that. They've retreated to the keep. Send in my troops. Take them out in the keep. Take them all as prisoners. Let's get in there. Take the war horses, um, step horse there. The rest of it can be experience. Uh, I'm going to show mercy. Continue. We want to wait here for some time or probably disband the army and leg it from here, I think is going to be our best choice. But first, before we can do that, it's hot wing time. Right, this is source number five which is the, oh, the ghost pepper and mango. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh, ghost pepper hits like a truck. Oh, that one hit like mid, like the others I've been able to get, like munch through the whole chicken, swallow, and then I start getting it. That hit all the way, that hit during. Ah! I'm going to drop another save here, though. Oh, okay. That heat is really... Really coming through. So the next one is the Trinidad Scorpion and Clementine, which is 50,000. That last one was 30,000. So it's a massive jump next. Oh. Oh. That was a poop break. We should hear screams shortly. <laughs> mm. 
No, no poop yet. Chat didn't start the fire. It was Legion's fault with the spicy wings. Chat didn't start the fire. It was Legion's fault with the spicy wings. Yeah.